Okay, in today's video, we're going to show you how to create a timestamp in your spreadsheet file to track any change that happens in your uh, Excel file. So let's create uh, something simple here, an item, quantity, and, and the timestamp. Excel has a formula that enable you to create a timestamp, uh, which is now, but it changes whenever you change your Excel file, whenever it recalculates that value change, so it doesn't work. Okay, so let's go to Developers tab. If you don't have Developers tab enabled, go to the File, Options, um, Customize Ribbon, and mark this uh, check this checkbox here developer so we'll have this go to the visual basic um, go to the, the the spreadsheet you want to this enable in my case the the first one uh, go here at the top general a uh, dropbox choose worksheet instead of select on change we're gonna use this whenever a change occurs so we're gonna use change instead we can delete this selection change we don't need in this anymore uh, first we're gonna declare or sell variable so dim sell as range uh, we also will declare or um, column of the our timestamp so in our case this call as integer and our timestamp as a date timestamp as date okay our ts call gonna be number three because i choose the column c so one two three our column is the column tree and uh, our timestamp and timestamp is the current time and date and now we're gonna uh, create a simple if statement here or target dot column is different than our timestamp we don't want to create a timestamp for our timestamp column itself then we will do our code inside it okay for each cell inside the target that changes we gonna input our timestamp in the timestamp column. So for each uh, cell in target, next cell, we gonna change cell dot row and timestamp column dot value equal to our timestamp okay I think this is the basic code let's test here let's add some Apple so now we get a timestamp whenever we change it orange and it keeps the value because it's not a formula it's an actual value of timestamp okay and if we change more than one cell we'll track the same way our timestamp so i think that's the basic you can implement more features in your in this code it's a very simple code to something that i consider very useful to track any information that occurs 
in your spreadsheet file okay if you like this video please don't forget to click the like button and click subscribe to have more videos like like this in your youtube timeline okay thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye